Today I'm going to channel my inner Drewski. I'm using Graviton Forfeit with precision weapon targeting. Talk about what that does later. But essentially what I'm going to do is use my good bone structure with opening shot to swiftly shoot somebody in the face, proc flawless execution if I'm crouched, and then use the overcharged Sturm to maybe two tap people. So I know these spawns, I know where he's at. Already invisible, good, I can see the whole field. Opening shot basically gives you free headshots to me. You can hit them in like chest level and still find their face. I have machine gun, so I can use this to start proccing headshots. I can still see through walls, good. I wasn't crouched, I didn't need to be. I'll message now. Let's get away from this. He's smart to back it up. He knows I'm very deadly up close. I almost did it to him. I should have tossed the nade on my back. I would guess I was the center of attention. This is going to be a very quick rumble match. Let's see, can I steal a kill? I'm sliding a lot because I want to be crouched. <laughs> I didn't get headshots, but I mean... They were running around like chickens with their heads cut off. They didn't know what to do in those shotgun fights. Ace of flinch. Threat detector. Pops off. There's a reason that I use threat detector on this gun. It's for that exact reason. When I'm aimed down sights, it'll let me know if somebody's near me. He could have backed up and I would not have been the wiser. Look at that. There we go. Popping 95s off with the Sturm. Two tapping people. He's got Momentum Mori. I don't have Marksman's Dodge. Let's note that. I'm gonna ignore him for a sec. Alright, I see he's going back to blood. No. In the spawn. I can still see him through the wall because flawless execution did proc. Oh, that was just at that sweet spot where he was able to live. It's a great time to super. They're just letting me get kills at this point. This has crazy AoE. What is this? I'm going to go out wide. He's trying to take advantage of his sunspots. Now I'm invisible. Now a two-tap. Beautiful. Oh, the ending was gorgeous. I'll take it. So here we go, let's keep talking about the build in depth while maybe I load a quick play. Because that went way too fast. I uh, picked Rumble because I was running into a lot of Mask, so they were sort of ruining this build. Where I would tag them with Sturm, and they would know exactly where I was, and I'd be like, Really dude? Now you're gonna sit in cover, because you know exactly how to maybe like rotate around a piece of cover as I'm rotating around a piece of cover so that they're never exposed. It's very annoying. I can never really get the kill unless I'm using like my smoke and grenade in conjunction, but then just because he's wearing an exotic helmet, I have to expend all my utility. I'm not going to get on that rant today, but just know that it hurts to play so many masks. And here we go. Let's see what the team of three is rocking. All right, it looks like your usual stuff. Okay, they're just having fun. Disregard. Let's talk about the build. So double up on the shotgun scavenger. I do have a lot of paragons, but that's because it bleeds into another build that I use with top tree to stay invisible more often. But precision weapon targeting works on both my hand cannon and my slug shoddy, so it kind of consolidates the use of this perk. 
No real reason to use the ornament other than it looks cool. This extends the duration of my invisibility, which keeps me off radar, which makes it so that I can make smarter decisions on positioning. I already talked about threat detector. Opening shot is fantastic. I put a targeting adjuster just to double down on this idea. While these shotguns are range capped, meaning they have the same kill distance up to a certain range, I think that the actual range masterwork and accurized rounds add to the bullet magnetism, like how much the bullets bend onto somebody's face. And this hammerhead is a god roll. I think it's the best it can possibly be. Maybe sans uh, this perk. We'll see. What I'm doing right now is checking people's resilience level. I want to make sure that they're low resilience so I can two tap them with Sturm. Otherwise, it'll be much more beneficial to use a different weapon all around. And judging by most of the lobby, uh, it's okay. If this team of three is on my team, no Sturm. If they are, I might want to switch to Redrick's. I think that's a better use. And on that note, I might go for... I would say Queen Breakers if I had it. Let's just see. Did I get the team of three? Just looking at him again to see the names. Show your enemy this place belongs to you now. Nope, they're on the enemy team. Yep, perfect. Okay, so on that note, I should be able to get more consistent two taps. Just waiting for him. Sorry, teammate. You're getting in the way of the kill shots. There it is, now I'm invisible. Fortunately, I don't have ammo. But I do have overcharged Sturm, so I might be able to two tap off spawn. I took my time to aim that. I know people are on my back. You're in the lead. You can use the uh, spike nade like that, just throw your cone over your head. Tags people. I still have flawless execution. That grenade's gonna hurt. Let's create space. Keep creating space. 91 to the face. I know there's multiple of them. My shot is garbage. Can I get some ammo, please? Here we go. Three of them. Flawless execution. Extended. Oh, he's about to walk into this. There's the whole team. Now two tap everyone. Unfortunately, the airplane helmet, now that I can see that through the wall. What is the guy whose name starts with a K? Alright, he's an 8. So both of the airplane helmets have high resilience, so I'll note that. If I see an airplane helmet through the wall, I cannot two-tap him. Well, he gave me that right in the face. Maybe I can pull the power? I kind of want to try Linear Fusion since I can change it up. This Linear Fusion has opening shot backup plan. So not only does it charge fast when you pull it out, but it also, you know, gives you the free headshots. Whole team. Don't forget, you can still use abilities while you're in a super. You learned that from D1 when the Blade Dancer was nerfed to Oblivion. Just want to be able to see through the wall temporarily. I'm going to fish for a headshot. Walk it out. I didn't think he would actually push. He did. I chose to shoot the Telesto. I should have just held my ground and aimed for his face. 
A lot of people, though, forget that you can shoot Telesto. I don't think it's the overpowered Bane of the Crucible that my comment section seems to think it is, but... I don't know. I think it definitely is something you can outplay if you think about it. Where's the hammer? Oh, he went around the long way. He's about to get a multi-kill from hell. Let him get the seventh column. I have a super back. The Arc Soul might give away my invis. Too late for that to matter. I could fight it, depending on if he's Code of the Commander or not. Let's find him. Can I see him while he's invis? Or is he dead already? Take my time. Just tag him for any amount of damage. I think that separates the best shotgunners in the game. Is putting in damage when you have the option to. I did not want to melee him. I wanted to throw the smoke. So I needed to whip it around just a little bit more. And you would, you would have thought with my entire team closing in. That we'd have a little bit more pressure on that guy as well. So it wasn't just all on my shoulders. Alright, what's he got? Thunderlord? I can see him through the wall. This is excellent. Oh, thank you for the rift. I would like that ammo if possible. Oh, I might be able to take out the super. Alright, so he's inside. Let's throw the smoke at the wall. Or at the door opening. So that he's tagged by the smoke if he walks through it. Making him a very easy headshot. Threat Detector also lets me know when it's a good idea to get my smoke back. When it's a good idea to dodge to get my smoke back. 166 is good enough to leave. My teammates can handle that. Let's go check A flag. If I see red on the radar, I'm pulling out backup plan. Doesn't look to be the case. Especially with the teammates spawning on top of me. Just confirms the suspicion. Let's go for the long flank. If I jump right here, I might suffer the inner accuracy penalty. Continue wrapping around. There we go. That one hurt. I had flinched off his face. I would have traded with him anyway if I didn't get it. Uh, let's just keep pushing up. It's my whole team. Do I, I have to bail him out? Okay, I'll bail him out. Where's the other one? Just pushing up to mid right now. I can see him through the walls. That guy's going for a flank on my team. I want B flag because that's the whole enemy team. I can see he's on B. Not a problem anymore. You have my respect, Hunter. Do I still have flawless? I don't. Okay, so let's proc it right now. There it is. That's less to hurt when I peek that. I, I thought one of them would get a little overzealous. I know I had the wall hacks to see them perfectly. I don't exactly know the Crooked Fang charge up time because I'm so used to the backup plan just working. Let me see if I can thread this needle. I might have got it.
No headshot? No ammo either. Yeah, everybody with their shots. Let's see, can I use that? Wing Contender, 648. Oh yeah, absolutely, that's an upgrade. And there we go. Another commentary for the books. Thank you guys for watching.